Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, September 29th. It is two days until October, which means my favorite holiday of the year is coming up, Halloween. Um, costume making, decorations, candy, candy corn, which I love. I have a, a spiffy new hat I just made this weekend, which is actually probably going to be part of a Halloween swap I'm participating in. And as you can see, it is inspired by candy corn. And um, I'll probably have this pattern on the Sew Hook craft blog later this week. So keep an eye out for that. Um, speaking of the craft blog, I wanted to mention that if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I post all my updates on the craft blog. So if you don't get, you know, you don't um, use a feed reader for reading blogs, Twitter's a great way to keep up with what um, your favorite people are doing online. So if you follow So Hooked, you will be following my So Hooked craft blog. Um, I also post updates for the website and updates for my Harry Potter paper piecing group so you can see what's going on there. And I occasionally post really fun things that I see that around the web too. So, so hooked on Twitter. Um, let's see, what else? I've been doing um, a lot of sewing. I did not get as much done on um, Operation Save Sue as I intended to, but I did get quite a bit done. I move my candy corn and I'll show you. Um, the blocks are not pieced together yet, but they all have their sashing. So this is all the blocks with their sashing. Um, I tried not to use the same fabric more than two or three times, so I pulled out every blue in my stash and cut uh, two inch strips. So these will be one and a half inches when I'm done. And I'm going to sew these um, just back in the, probably not the original order, but I'm going to sew them back in the um, more or less the same configuration and new sashing and this will also act as the border and then I just have to figure out how it's going to be quilted because I do not know yet. Um, so those are done except for being pieced into a top. Um, also I finished, let's see, I finished um, a second carpool blanket. This one was made out of yarn that um, was sent to me by Archer Prin. The lovely Prin sent me this I believe it's a Lion Brand suede, and she sent me enough to make a baby blanket. So I finished one baby blanket, and that will go to Linus in October. That's um, the LinusConnection.org if you're looking for it online. I'm the webmistress, so definitely go check out the website and leave me a comment because I really like comments, and nobody's left a comment on my new comments page, so I'd really like that. LinusConnection.org. Um, also, I finished, you may remember, I showed this a couple months ago, I think it was a couple months ago. The green blanket is done and it's not as big as I originally intended because it's not going where I originally intended. It will probably be a Linus blanket, but I really love it. Um, this was a handwritten pattern that someone gave me, so I'm going to clean it up and I will share it on the So Hooked Craft Blog. Um, so that will be on my to-do list for hopefully this week or next week. I already have a couple things including my nifty candy corn hat to post this week, so it might be next week. Um, also, I'm working on a new carpool blanket. Um, I mentioned before that when I'm waiting for my kids to come out of school, I, I have a bag of, of stuff that I work on, and I'm usually working on a baby blanket. Um, I bought some yarn. Um, yesterday I had lunch with my fabulous friend Linda at Jason's Deli and it's right um, in the same complex as a Hobby Lobby so we went over to Hobby Lobby and I bought this. I love this yarn. See it's this really pretty soft pastel-y creamy colors and so yesterday I started this blanket which is O Wavy Baby from um, my website. I'll put the link to this pattern and it makes a good size um, blanket. 40 42 inches, something like that. And I did this just yesterday in the carpool line, so you can see how much I've gotten done there. That's a really easy pattern, worked with a pretty big hook, so it makes a nice lacy fabric. Um, and believe it or not, I don't have a lot more to show you because I made two bags last week and I already gave them to the people that were going to receive them. So I will post photos of those. Um, I made a monk's bag pattern for my daughter to carry her stuff that she needs for school. She carries, um, she's on an AB schedule, so she has two sets of binders, and instead of having one giant notebook that has all her stuff in it, she has some small notebooks that have things for each class that she carries in a tote bag, but then she carries like her pencils and her calculator and her glasses and that stuff, and 
a purse, but she likes a purse with a nice long strap. So I made one just for her this weekend um, to her specifications. It's based on the Pearl B. That's PearlBee.com, I believe. I'll put a link. Um, their monk's bag pattern, but I actually made it wider by making the center portion of the bag two inches wider, and then I added more pockets inside. So she has a pocket for her glasses, and I added a belt loop so she can hook her keys on there. I have one of those in my purse, too, and that is something I... It's awesome modification, just a belt loop or a little tab or something, and then I hook my keys on it, so I'm not digging around in my bag for my keys, so I really like that. Um, so I made that for her, and that was uh, camo with a smiley face iron-on that I just happen to have, and I'll post a picture of that here. And that was her bag, and that she's toting around school now. And then that that's a really easy pattern to make. It takes a couple of hours, but it's really simple. As long as you follow the directions on the, the pattern, it's, it's just really easy to make. This is my second one. I want to make another one because the bag I'm carrying now is um, the monk's bag pattern. And I'll post a picture of that one here. And I've been toting that for a while, and I really love it, but I think I'm ready for a new one. Um, also, I made a bag for my friend Wendy, who um, finished her graduate program and is going to be a librarian, and I decided she needed an awesome tote bag, and she has this icon um, that has cherries on it, and when I saw, I ran across this cherries fabric, and I thought, you know, this would make the perfect bag for Wendy, so I, I picked up this cherry fabric and this awesome uh, red with white polka dot fabric and made a book bag for her to tote her books to and from the library. Um, and so I will insert a picture of that one here. And that bag um, was just something I sketched out and made. Um, there's no pattern, it was just dimensions and my me figuring out um, what I wanted to have. It's a very basic bag pattern. I really like the way it came out. I think it's really, really cute and, and uh, I think it'll be fun for her to tote her stuff around in. And it makes me happy to know that even though she doesn't live near me and we don't see each other very often, that she has a little piece of me to carry around. Um, and I think that's about it. I um, can't believe I'm, I'm only at seven and a half minutes, probably more like eight once I insert all the pictures, but I've been super busy um, making stuff almost every day or running errands like crazy and um, I'm sure I'll have lots to show you guys next week. Hopefully Sue will finally be a quilt top by next week. I'm, I'm hoping if I can get a couple hours to just sit and sew without any distractions, that is what I will be doing. And I will see you guys next week. Have a great week and, oh, and one more thing while I'm thinking about it. Um, the paper piece uh, groups on LiveJournal, the um, challenge entries are due, so um, I believe on the 4th of October, so you have just a few days to get those in. If you have paper piece challenge entries, get those in. Um, I'll put a link in the sidebar. And if you're participating in the uh, Twilight Crafts Black and Red Swap, those um, lists will be going out soon. I'll start collecting names and we will uh, we will start swapping for real. So those, those uh, squares will finally get swapped. And now, for real, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Okay, I lied. I thought of something else. Um, just really fast. Um, I did some stenciling um, over the weekend, and I made this for um, my husband, who is really anticipating a new game call coming out called The Secret World. And this is, I guess, the group he belongs to. It's a secret, so I can't tell you what it is. But he sent me the image, and I made the stencil for him. And he actually, actually it's all wrinkled because he's already worn it, and I had to dig it out of the laundry. And I made this for Elena, which is Torchwood, the Torchwood symbol, and it's silver Lumiere paint on a black t-shirt. And uh, Calypso Bard actually shared the, her stencil with me, and that's where I made that from. And she's going to let me post that on Sew Hooks, so look for that soon. And okay, really, I'm gone now. Bye.